Hey YouTube, USA Second Amendment here with a quick unboxing video for you guys. This is a new knife that I am really liking by the brand Ruki or Ryuki or Ryuk. I really don't know how to say that. So if you know, put it down in the comments section. Give you an overview of the boxing. Okay, here's the model number. You guys can see it is the M671TZ. It is a titanium frame lock knife, which is the entire reason I got this is because it is made out of titanium. All right, so unboxing, nothing else there. There's a barcode for you. Set that out there. All right, we'll get to that in just a second. Um, comes with a little pamphlet that they have of different models. And on the other side, some of their multi-tools. All right, leave that there. And then let's see, what is this? M671. Like I said, this is the TZ model, so the titanium just gives you a little bit of a overview there and then some different languages on the back and put that to the side and then there's it has this warranty card i don't really know if you're supposed to turn this in unless you actually have a claim it has all the regular information and then it says malfunction so take that for what you will the other side is in chinese Put that there. This knife is manufactured in China. Okay, put that there. Let's go ahead and slide this out. All right, and you got a hang tag. And you have the knife. So, like I said, it's a titanium knife, which is the reason I wanted it. It is a frame lock and it is sculpted. I found some titanium knives that I liked, but the scales were smooth. They weren't sculpted. I really like that this has that sculpting going on. The backspacer is also titanium. Obviously it's a frame lock. And if you can see, if I can get it to focus, there is a steel insert right there on the frame lock. So that's always good to see. Lockup is about, mm, I'd say 40%. And then let's see, on blade centering, we are pretty much right on maybe, maybe a little to the left. Well, no, pretty much right on. Um, you do have a tip up pocket clip. It's a deep carry pocket clip here. Um, it is not reversible. You can't switch it to this side to have it tipped down. You also cannot switch it to the other side. So you're stuck with it in this one position. Doesn't really bother me. I typically carry my pocket knives in the left side anyway. Um, I'm left-handed for a lot of things. Some things right-handed. Um, but the pocket clip situation, I know a lot of people get hung up on, is it right or left? Is it tip up or tip down? It doesn't really bother me. You just pull the knife out of your out of your pocket and you you know you open it up to cut the box or whatever you're messing with. Now, if you were using a knife for self-defense purposes, yes, that makes a little bit more um, a little bit more sense. It matters a little bit more, I would think. But um, this is a front flipper, as you just saw. I'm still getting used to a front flipper. I am definitely not good at one-handed front flipping action. Um, I'm so much more used to just a regular flipper. So with this, I think what I'll do to get out of this detent is do that. You see how it pops out of the detent? And then I can use this or the thumb studs and I can open it up to where it locks in place. A little wrist fling there. But some quick size comparison for you guys, or I say some, just one, um, is my Kaiser Mini Sheepdog. Now this has been my EDC. You'll see the blade is all messed up. I use the crap out of this knife. But just to give you a quick size comparison, it is about 
in the same ballpark as the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog. Hopefully you guys can see that there. Um, I mean, tip for tip, it is, it is about the same. I think this one is a little bit longer. I mean, maybe, maybe just a smidge, maybe an eighth of an inch or so, not very much. And also a big difference is this is a liner lock with G10. And then of course, this is the frame lock with the titanium. What I would like to do, I don't know if I'm gonna have the courage to do it, but what I would like to do, I think if I read right, this pocket clip is titanium. And like I mentioned earlier, this backspacer is titanium. What I would like to do is I would like to flame anno the pocket clip and the backspacer and leave the handle scales. Eventually, maybe do the scales. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think down in the comments. Should I try to flame anno those? I've never done flame anodization um, at all and I would like to do it. Uh, I got a new watch before um, a couple months back with that was made out of titanium. Um, I just got some other things made of, out of titanium. I'm really liking the titanium as far as a material, the uh, just the feel of it, the look of it, um, and obviously the weight of it. So um, let's see, on the inside, this is gonna be hard to see one more thing. I don't know if, you're gonna be able to pick up on this. Let's see if I do it this way. There we go, you can see it a little bit right there. So the scale is skeletonized. Okay, these scales, they do have some skeletonization, again, to help with, um, to help with weight savings. All right, oh, that was a fail, wasn't it? Let's see. There we go. All right, so there you guys go. That's it. Quick unboxing for you guys with a quick, um, you know, run through and a quick comparison with this mini sheepdog. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, thank you guys for watching. God bless America.